to another series of you. This time I'm going with uh, Gundam Build Fighters, which recently ended. I just have been busy with all these first impression posts on Metanorn and getting all these reviews out and pretty much just checking out the new stuff from the spring season right now. But going back to the winter, you know, we had this Gundam series, which is I think one of the shortest Gundam series I have ever seen, besides like an OVA or a movie series. But this is only 25 episodes, and it's kind of interesting. It basically follows a group of kids and young adults, and many of all adults that play with Gundam models. And if you know what Gundam models are, basically those classic figures you can build. But in this universe, you can actually take those figures you build and put them in this 3D environment and actually control them and fight with them. So you can actually have a battle with other, another person who built this model. So the models actually come to life in this 3D world and they take damage, they blow up, they you know, you can destroy them and when the match is over, all that's left is like a pile of, of pieces. So I mean it's kind of interesting how they, they put that in there. And for me, comparison would be like Yu-Gi-Oh! ish or um Andrea Glare if you know what that is. It's kinda of similar but with dolls instead of Gundam figures, but and that sounds like a simple plot to most people. I know it's like, oh, kids have battles, basically a card game show. And it kind of sort of is, but the, the highlight of this series for me would just be the over-the-top battles they have with these, with these model kits. And it ranges from Gundams from like the original Gundam, Zeta, Gundam Wing, G Gundam, C, Destiny, Double O, Age, and even Unicorn, which I don't, you don't see it fight, but there are some robots from that those movie series. And... I would say that's what the, f the highlight of the series is, just seeing all these robots mix Gundams we've seen from other shows that, you know, fight each other. So you could have the Wing Zero fighting uh, uh, Double O Gundam. And to me, that's just like a fan, a fan's dream come true to see all these robots fighting each other. And there's even bits at the end with the uh, G Gundam kick Gundams running around. That to me was just really cool, because just seeing them interact with the other robot Gundams is like kind of cool for me and the other thing would be the OST I mean the OST during the the fight fighting stuff is just amazing I think it's just it's really great and it's from the guys that did robotic notes which had a cool OST I mean especially again with their their battle system at the beginning was kind of neat and the OST really keeps the action flowing for me and yeah like I said short Gundam series and the fights were awesome, but I would say the slice of life moments might get a little boring because you know they all these kids are technically like elementary schoolers and and middle schoolers and they're it's a young cast for most of the part, most of the majority of the series. But like I said, there are some adult characters that do fight these with these Gundams, but they just show they're kind of kids at heart, and that's fine. And speaking of characters. There's only really four, I guess, would technically count as the main main cast. We have Laurie, which is the main kid. He has blue hair, and I guess his dad was a Gundam builder back in the day and won like this tournament. And that's what his son's dream is to go to the tournament and win, just like just like his father did many years ago. And he's the builder, basically. He builds this robot, but he doesn't fight with it. That's the thing about the series too. There are some classifications as the builder. You just build the robot. You don't fight with it. And then you have the fighter, which is trained to use the, the suit and fight with the, the Gundam. So you can have like, a, like a, a duo basically. Or you have some that are just builders and fighters at the same time, which some of the minor characters are like that. But yeah, he's interesting character. I mean, he's kind of the strong-willed kid. He's, he doesn't complain or cry a lot. So that's what I liked about him. And next to him would be Reiji, which is his fighter. And Reiji's this kid with red hair who's a mystery at the beginning. No one knows where he's who he is or where he's from, and they reveal a little thing at the end or near after you first meet him, like the second time you see him, that he's someone very special. He's not. I would just say he's not from this world, not from Earth, basically. But I won't say what he is or who he is unless you want to watch it because I think it's kind of a interesting, even though it's kind of a, a weird supernatural twist to a Gundam. I would I don't know if it's supernatural, but I think it is. You know. And then we have two side characters, two girls that are kind of like the, I guess, pairings with the other two, but 
since the show is more geared, geared towards like a younger audience, they, won't, they don't have much romance. But even though they do ship people really hard together, and it's kind of evident of who would get with who in the future if they did more. But we have China, and she's like the love interest for Lori, I guess you would say. And when she first meets him and learns about his, his uh, I guess, his hobby, she's kind of confused and doesn't understand it. Until he, he shows her how to play and the joys of building a, a model and seeing it fight and the winning, basically. And she kind of gets pulled into this with this world with him and she likes it and is very in interested in, in the game and just is curious, basically, why people love it so much. And she's just fun to watch and she may not be like the, the cool character, but I think she's the, the cute girl of the, of the series, kind of like. She's just there for the, the movie value. And then we have I Isla, which is a girl with white hair, and she's also a mystery just like Reggie. We don't really know much about her at the beginning, other than that she is a fighter for this team that kind of recruits her. We don't meet her until about, I think, the midway point in the series, around like, I think, 10 or 12, around there. And she has a special power to herself, and if you know Gundam, you know what a new type is and they can basically detect someone who's gonna do a move before it happens and they can react you know moves moves ahead of time I guess and she's kind of interesting even though she's kind of a, a tsundere at first at the beginning she doesn't really like Reggie and she kind of has a she has a hidden persona she basically disguises herself as someone else and he doesn't really realize it's her until later on when he's in a tournament and it's kind of interesting to see how these four characters kind of interact and to, to see the great parts of the series for me would be the chemistry between all the characters there are some characters they even fight that you would think there would be rivals forever but they eventually stop and they come around they, they all become friends at the end of the series and to me that's kind of interesting to see these characters that you know play this, this game so hardcore and they don't it's all about fight, fight, fight for them. And in the end, they don't realize they, I guess, they make friends, and they, you know, discover that this is a sport or a competitive thing they don't want to ever grow out of. And they're gonna keep doing it forever, even the older characters. <laughs> and there are some goofy stuff in this series. I mean, it's 25, so they have to do some silly things. I remember there was an episode where the Gunners actually play baseball in the tournament, where just like how it sounds, one's pitching and one's just hitting, hitting the bat. And it was kind of funny and kind of goofy at the same time. And another thing would be they have this like free for all fight where all these robots are entering this, I guess, world together. Basically, like they're uh, in space and they get sent to the Earth. So they're all free falling. And where they land is basically when they, they just start fighting. And there's these weapon crates all over the place. So you have to find these unique weapons and find a way to defeat someone with this, these silly weapons. I think they had like. A toy hammer, so it almost felt like Smash Brothers to me with with Gundams. So some people found like OP weapons, like a shot, like a sniper rifle, and like swords and stuff. And other people just found silly weapons, like a, a plastic toy hammer or a baseball glove or something like that. So just seeing them go that far was kind of funny, kind of interesting. When we see Gundams, they're all these serious, and you know it's kind of rare to see them do a comical side of a Gundam. And this one had some comical moments, and I like that. And near the end, I mean, it's nice to see that a one-year time skip after the events that happened in the last episode. We see Lori, you know, he's still defending his title, and it's kind of cool just watching him fight, and he's builder too at the same time. So just pretty nice just seeing the uh, flash forwards a year later and seeing how everyone was doing. Except we didn't get to see much of Reiji or other characters, but still good to see these characters. And once again, the OST is amazing. I could listen to it probably over and over on repeat. Just a lot, a lot of good tracks. I would use some in this video, but it probably would get flagged, so I won't be using any, sadly. And the last thing would be, again, it was great seeing my favorite Gundams, like from Gundam G Gundam up here, Double O, and it just, I think it's a love letter to all Gundam fans that if you know all these Gundams, then it's like a, you know, you get more enjoyment from seeing these robots fighting. 
but if you haven't seen all of them, which is, is fine, I mean, it's still a lot to get through. It's still, it is a kind of a love letter, to, love, bleh, a love letter to Gundam fans to tell them, hey, you know, we, we, you know, we should be still making Gundams, and there's more Gundams to come. And I think there's two whole seasons of two different shows coming out in the future here with Gundams and stuff like that, and it has me excited because Gundam is something that has been around for forever, and it's almost. I wouldn't say timeless, I mean there are some that are just copy paste of each other, but yeah anyway, they're, they're fun. So overall I'll give this an 8 out of 10, a very enjoyable series, I kinda wish it was a little bit longer like the old school Gundams, which were 50 some episodes, but 25 is, is good, I mean, I like that. Maybe you might get another season one day, and if so then that'd be, that'd be amazing, I'd be, I'd be really happy they just like that. But anyway, that's my review for Gundam Build Fighters. Hope you guys enjoyed it and check it out if you were curious about you know, the world of Gundam or you want to hear a cool OC or see some epic battles. Anyway, see ya.